We're now going to begin constructing an in center of a triangle, an ongoing series of finding a point of concurrency. We'll begin with a triangle of some sort. Again, try not to make it too regular. If you make it equilateral or isosceles, you're suggesting that it might only work in that environment. Here is a triangle. An in center is a result of combining three angle bisectors. So you'll remember from our previous lessons that an angle bisector results when you take a compass and make some arc. It doesn't even matter what arc it is. But from the points of intersection of that arc, you're going to effectively construct a perpendicular bisector. So from this, I'm going to make a distance more than halfway, and that same distance, I did not adjust my compass, from the other point of intersection. Notice that mine hits the side here, yours might not. But by constructing it with one, two, and the original point, this gives me three points to determine a line. There are people who try it with just two points, but I suggest that if you verify with all three points, one, two, three, if, in fact, all three points are collinear, then you've probably done a good job in constructing this. If, in fact, they're not all collinear, then you've probably made some slight errors that will make your point far off. So then we'll come back to this other side, other angle, excuse me, construct an arc of any length from the points of intersection, go more than halfway. Same from the other side. those points of intercept. Those ones are not quite as clean. I missed on that one a little bit, so we'll see how this comes out. My third one. More than halfway. My points of intersection. that one because I started to choose the same length which doesn't give me my three points. It only gives me two. Go back to here. Back to here. Challenge is of course to find your various points. These three points meet at a point of concurrency, a single point of intersection. And I should be able to now take my compass, and using that as a center point, and measuring the distance to the sides, I should be able to construct a circle on the inside of this triangle, such that all the sides are the same length away. This is the value of an in-center. It becomes the center of a circle, which fits inside the triangle. In other words, it inscribes, or it is inscribed in the triangle. center results from three angle bisectors and it produces a center point which allows you to construct a circle that's exactly the same distance from each side. That concludes constructing it in center.